morning guys, what's going on? Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to um, start wiring the rest of the lighting for the fish room. Um, I don't know what happened. When I was younger I used to love wiring stuff, but these days, I, I don't know, for some reason I'm really not looking forward to it. Uh, I'm sitting here organising my YouTube channel on the computer. Um, and it's 10.30, I've been awake since 8, I was going to get a quick start on it, and um, I haven't. So, I'm going <clears> to <throat> organise what I'm doing on the computer, and then I'm going to get stuck into it. So it's 10.30 now, I'll let you guys know what time I actually get started, hey? So guys, this is day 6 of the Flower Horn Eggs. So, tomorrow is one week, so we should... Maybe start seeing them swimming tomorrow. So I was going to add a filter today. I mentioned that in the last little video about this. But uh, speaking to a friend of mine, he told me to not do the filter until there's no point in putting a filter on it until they're free swimming. So that's what we're going to do. So. It has been 40 minutes guys, we've done a couple of water changes, a couple of other things and yes, procrastinated as I said I would. So we've got our cable hooks, um, I've lost the four hooks that are for the roof lights, I've got to go find them. Electrical tape, I wanted to use heat shrink but um, the only heat gun I've got is at work and I, and I forgot to bring it home. Um, and I just never have much luck with heat shrink, so I'm just going to use tape for now. Um, it's only tw 24 volts, so it shouldn't be an issue. We've got solder, soldering iron. Um, this is a cool little, this little soldering iron's got a button on it, and it jumps. See if it tells me. It jumps from like 20 watts to like 120 or something crazy in like a split second. So you just hold it down, and it heats the soldering iron up in like 10 seconds. Uh, cable ties, I've already got some but I always just buy some new ones because you can never have too many cable ties. Alright, so what we're missing, the LEDs, I don't know where the hell I've put them. I haven't looked in the house yet so that's where we're going to find. LEDs, the aluminium strip which is under the patio. So I was bummed I couldn't find a 5 metre strip of aluminium for the pond. I have to join it with two bits that I've got. And then I was just thinking then. There's no way at all I was ever getting a 5 metre length on the pond. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with the fact that I have to join it. So, um, yeah, I kind of feel like an idiot for even thinking that that could be a possibility. So, anyway, rambling. We're going to get the aluminium and then I've got to find those four hooks. And then, I'm pretty sure we're ready to rock and roll. Um, the power goes through this little hole here. I don't like my chances of getting another cable through, but um, I've got to do the math and work out whether I can bridge off this cable and that cable is enough to handle the power. I, I, I don't think I really want to go that route. I really want to get the cable through. So that's going to be my first task is to try to get the cable through that hole after I find the parts. So I have found everything bar the four hooks that I bought, those, that little packet. I probably dropped it on the ground. I was filming a vlog as I was walking out. I had no box or bag. I was just carrying a pile of shit in my hands. But on the, on the bright side, the other hooks that I bought, the big packet, they do fit in the wall mates. They're not um, they spin in quite easily but they it's enough thread that it grips good enough um, these are going to rust like buggery in the ceiling but you get that maybe I'll get a can of white uh, this is not focusing maybe I'll get a can of white paint and just blast it um, these hooks are only these are all any steel hooks and uh, it's not going to focus either They've only just started to get some corrosion on them and they're like two years old, so I'm not too stressed about that. Um, it doesn't really matter if I get a couple of brown dots on the ceiling. Um, I'm going to have to be careful because 
that tank up there has those secret fish in it and this light that I'm about to put up is going to light that tank up so yeah um, you guys are going to fucking figure it out alright so all the OGs that do figure it out keep it to yourselves please 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 um, I really yeah I don't know I've explained to you guys why I want to keep it a secret uh, I put these two psychos together, they'll probably kill each other, but we'll see. Uh, so step one guys, get the cable into a ridiculous tangle. Um, I was trying to unroll the whole thing and lay it out straight. I don't want to cut it yet, so I was trying to make a, a nice straight cord and I failed. I got about halfway and then it tangled. Um, Sorry if today's videos are going to be really shit angles guys, I lent my tripod to somebody and I didn't actually think about how much I use it. So I should have it back in the next couple of days. Um, I also broke the little phone holster I made, so I've got to repair that before I can even use it again anyway. So I've got this shitty little like $3 eBay thing holding my phone at the moment. Um, I definitely want to upgrade my vlogging gear, but I just don't think my channel's at that point yet, so I'll just keep going with where I'm going. Um, I'm rambling again. I'll see you once I get this cable untangled. Oh man, this little tripod thing is so annoying, guys. Um, Alright, so just looking at this, I can establish I have zero fucking chance of getting this cable through. Alright, I'm going to think about this for two secs, guys, and I'll get back to you. So we're going with drilling a new hole, guys, uh, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And the other problem is I can't fit a drill bit through there. So I'm using a spade bit, and this is the smallest one I have. I hope you guys can hear me over the drill. Uh, hopefully that went through. I'm not quite sure, it's quite thick. It's like 100 and 116 mil we have to go through. So we'll see. Let's have a look on the other side. So I done fucked up, guys. I have this whole door frame. That whole space is clear except for this 90 mil and I rushed into it didn't think about it and I drilled into the frame so now I make a decision do I try feed the wire through that gap um, I don't know I'll try get it through guys I will probably won't film it because I can't hold this shit with one hand without a tripod. Look guys, you wouldn't actually read about it. I drilled through and I hit a bugle screw, like straight on the screw and wrecked the spade bit. So I couldn't get the cable through, so option two was to drill a fresh hole. Um, I'll just fill it with silicon, it's no big deal. I'm gonna fill this one with silicon anyway as well once the cable is run through it, so it's not a big deal. I've, after this hole, after this wire, I have three power cables coming in off the transformer. So that's plenty for anything I should ever want to add in the future. But what I'm doing now is lighting the whole room up. I can't see me needing any more lights. Like, where the hell could I even squeeze more tanks in? <laughs> so I've turned the AC off because I'm dying. Um, right now I'm just pulling out all the shitty lights. Um, if anybody wants five foot lights, they've only got like one T5 globe working in them. Um, you can have both for 20 bucks. <laughs> I might throw them on marketplace. I don't know, I might just keep them, who knows. But, fuck 240 lights equals power trips and I don't like power trips. So, I'm not gonna do a two hour video of me complaining how fucking much this sucks, but, Whose idea was it to do two and a half foot deep tanks? Front to back I mean by deep. Um, it's, 
It's wicked for literage, like my two and a half foot tanks are like 240 litres. Like that's crazy for a two and a half foot wide tank. But shit like this sucks. My arm is two and a half foot as I've learned. So me reaching this is exactly my arm length. Anyway, I'm not gonna film me running this cable. It's pretty simple shit. I'll get to you guys once I've run the cable to where it needs to go. All right, so I just made a hell of a mess, guys, moving shit around, but... She doesn't got a tube all the way down, but she looks like she might lay in the next couple of days. Imagine if I get another batch within seven days. Can a male even do that? All right, guys, so we've run the cable about six, seven meters so far. We've still got to go all the way around to that point there. That's where this loop is going to end and drop down and this is the last tank on the loop. Um, I've turned the heater off, I've had the door open a bit. Um, we've dropped the room down a bit to 22. Because I'm sweating like a pedophile at a Wiggles concert. And I was working away and I was like, man, I'm so fucking hot. And then I like looked down at my feet and I was like, this is the shittest decision I've ever made for footwear in the fish room. Um, it's like a mild fucking 16 degrees outside and then I walk into fucking 28 degrees wearing these fucking heifers um yeah so that's a sick idea oh shit missus is mopping uh what shoe should we get I think we might go Chinese safety boots and get the uh pluggers on Chinese safety boots acquired alright guys so I've got a quick question for you this is a feedback one I want comments so in my videos the sort of style I've been doing. Oh, check it out guys, water changes are going. Uh, this It excites me when I'm home for this, I know I said it last weekend, but, but we're mid water changes, isn't that exciting? Boom, water, water, water. Um, it's the little things that count. So, back to the question. So shit like this, I'm making a video about lights. Do you want to see lights, 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 or do you want to see a daily timeline of the random fucking shit I do. Cause, um, shit like putting on Chinese safety boots, I like putting shit like that in my videos, but if you guys don't like it, then what's the fucking point? I'm making these videos for you guys. So, let me know what you think. Do you guys like, like the hell random things like broken up into the timeline of my video? Or would you rather see me try and stick more to one topic Sticking to one topic would probably make it way harder for me, but if that's what you want, oh, I want to grow the channel to what you guys want. Like, this is about you guys at the end of the day. So let me know. I'll see you guys when I start terminating wires because this video is dragging way too long. Uh, cut. Thank fuck for that, guys. Cables run. Sorry about how much explicit language is in this. Um, I'm in the mind of two worlds. I follow a guy called Tommy Fuck Yeah, and I get like this little excitement when he swears, so I'm sort of like following in his footsteps. He's my inspiration, but I have had complaints, so I don't know. I'm just gonna do it for now. If I get bigger, I might cut it back to PG because uh, it'll help with viewers, but who gives a fuck? And I think these guys are going to breed. This guy has gone from I think he's infertile to he's a fucking breeder bloke in minutes. Six days. Six days. Um, her tube's not all the way down yet, so like we're not getting too excited. But imagine if like so she's definitely not going to lay today. But like look at this. Look at them go. Um, he knows the business now, he is on the ball. She doesn't have her tubes down all the way. You can see it's halfway down. So, my guess is tomorrow, not today. Wrong plate, I, pre I should probably pull that plate out. <laughs> um, they're a bit feisty, but not as bad as the other night. Oh, anyway, I'm getting fucking sidetracked. They're gonna breed, maybe tomorrow. But anyway, we've got a fucking job to do. Can you guys stop me from getting sidetracked somehow? All right, let's go. Alright guys, so we're terminating the first roll of light here. So what I've done, this is the off cut. So this is still like uh, maybe 
five, six meters long. And so my plan is terminate the off cut onto the piece, install the piece, and then cut it to the length I need and terminate the other end. So um, I'm sure, I'm not sure if you guys know how to solder. So you get a bit of solder on the soldering iron and then you actually put the, oh, I'm going out of the camera. You actually put the soldering iron on the wire to get a bit of heat in it. And um, I'm not sure if you guys can really see. Once the solder starts touching the actual wire, you can see that the the solder conducts the heat way better than the wire. So uh, try not to melt everything as I'm going here. You can buy like little stands and shit that makes this so much easier, but this is what we're working with here. I've gone for a different approach this time. I've like spliced the cables straight into each other, like one against the other. Normally I just put them side by side and twist them. But it doesn't, it, I really think it, it doesn't matter at all. So now they're connected. That's nice and solid. It's going nowhere. Um, I'm only electrical taping these, it's only 24 volts, so <clears throat> even if it does drop and get wet, it's not a big issue. Uh, as I said, I'd really like to heat shrink them, but I've, I've, I just fail every time I try to do it. So, I don't. It's that simple. So then I just... Roll the negative first. I don't think it really matters which one you do first, but it's just probably should do the positive first, but and then that's that's joined, ready to go on. So this one's gonna be a mission. I've got two 2.6 meters of um, aluminium and I'm not actually sure how I'm gonna get it under the pond yet, so bear me with me for a sec with that. Um, I probably won't feel me getting under, getting it under. It's basically just going to be a tight fit. You guys get the idea. Um, so the other end, I filled it with silicon, and I put a bit of electrical tape on the end, and then the screw-on fitting, which I cut off this, I actually screwed that on and help hold the electrical tape down, because just to stop this end dangling in water. Alright guys, my name is Brendan Rumble and I'm one of the most impatient people you will ever meet in your life. But, how fucking sick does that look? Um, now you can really see how bad the pond is. <laughs> yeah, we've got to fix that one day. Um, but that's a summer job. I've explained before, we can't drain that until summer because we need to put the rays in a pond out in the shed and I'm not heating a 3,000 litre pond in winter. So that's the reason that the pond's fucked and it's not fixed. Uh, so I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to tell from this, but new light, old light. I have, there is zero brightness difference. These ones are, oh, do, 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 do. I'd say 18 months old uh, on every day, but only for like an hour a day, if that. But, like, there's no difference, and they're exactly the same light. I just bear the concrete how happy I am with these lights. So, you ask, how have you got that light running without wiring it up? So, <laughs> I have a ghetto ass connection to this power pack. So I used to run like four of these power packs and um, I got sick of it. So I've got one massive power thing now. It's actually a big box thing with a fan. I'll show you guys when we're wiring. But um, yeah, I just want to see it in action. Um, and it looks sick. The rays are popping. 
They look so much different. I want to show. Uh, I don't know where he is. But look how good the braids look. And because it's such a, it's such a small light. You only get one line of reflection. You don't have to worry about um, too much glare. But I've never really been able to see her patterns very well the whole time I've had her, so that's cool. Um, they look sick. I gotta find my mail, but apparently the lights have wigged him out. Maybe he's down here. Here, yeah, buddy, buddy, buddy. There he is under there. Let's maybe go under the water, eh? So, um, yeah, let's carry on. We're getting sidetracked again. So fuck wiring, um, I've only done that one so far, so I've cut it up, I just had a heart attack, I was like I don't have enough here, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, only $70 worth, but, so I decided to cut it all up, so I've got my two nine foots and six foots packed in this bag, that's those three racks there, I'm not putting them lights in yet, it'll just be another thing in the way when I go to put the tanks in. As you can see, it's already going to be a drama. Um, so this is the off cut from one six foot light and one nine foot light. And this, I can't do it with one hand guys, hang on, hold up, hold up. If I hold it with my knee, this is the exact length for these bottom tanks. Um, very, very lucky. Uh, I was hoping for an off cut and I was going to extend that one across but we don't have an off cut. Um, I might just end up buying another roll, what, like what's 70 bucks? Like, if I put anything in this bottom bit here that's going to need a light. I think I might as well just buy another roll. Let me know what you think. I could also do with another line along this. This tank's four foot front to back and it's got one strip on it. Um, yeah, the flower horns are still going. Right, bro. The, I don't know, I don't think she'll lay today, but we'll see. Oh, guys, look at me sweating like a pig. Um, I can't wear my glasses because they're walking in and out, they just keep fogging out. I had the door open, but it started to get a bit too cold in here. Um, I'm going to wrap today's video up there, guys. I feel like it's going to drag on way too long, so I'll make this a part one, part two video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.